Hi everyone. Today we will discuss how to deal with climate change study using Diva GIS. So friends, as you know that climate change is a present scenario that have been discussed worldwide. And uh, with the help of Diva GIS and uh, uh, World Climate Data, we can study the future climate, how it will happen in the future regarding to rainfall as well as temperature that we could study using Diva GIS. So friends, we need two fundamental kinds of data set for this kind of analysis. First one is the boundary layer or uh, area of your interest. I have imported this Kolapur district, the seal wise boundary of Kolapur district shape file layer into this software. So friends, as you know that for the climatic analysis, we required climate database. So here is the project option. Within that project option, sorry, here is the data option within that data option we you could find download by just clicking this download option you will have this pop-up window of diva gis where you will find different kind of data sets with country level data global level uh, country boundaries as well as here is the global climate data so in that database, you will find World Climb database as well as Diva GIS specific data. By clicking this here by option, you will have this climatic data. This is the current climate data of 1950 to 2000 that has simulated. You will have different resolutions from 10 minutes to 2.5 minutes database so i have downloaded this 2.5 minute data for this kind of analysis at the same time you have this future climate climatic conditions climate system modeling three model that is here it is also having 10 meter minute resolution to 2.5 minutes resolutions data which is the data of 2050 that has simulated using rcp 2.6 model suppose somebody wants to use this world climb data then this is the world climb website where you will have this historical data as well as future condition data. This is the historical data of 1970 to 2000 that you can download. This is the minimum temperature, maximum temperature database of 10 minute to 30 second. Here you can download by just double clicking this pop-up options of uh, solar radiation, wind speed and water vapor kind of database as well as you will have this bioclimatic variables and uh, elevation of uh, uh, elevation der derived by SRTM data. So friends, I have already downloaded this 2.5 minute graded database from this current climatic conditions as well as for the future climatic condition. So by using this downloaded data, we can do further analysis. So friends, within this data option, there is a climate option and this map option that we are going to use for the analysis. I have already discussed this is the world climate future database. I'm showing this how to get it 
into the software look at that this is the tool option i am again showing you this is the tool option within that tool option there is a, a option toolbar where layer and climate two fundamental uh, operations are there and within that operations you have to select the folder that where you have stored this database i am showing that how to do this okay it is not here look at that this is the diva wc world climate ccm3 2.5 minute folder and this this is the future climate database and diva world climate 2.5 meter folder this is the current climate database so we are doing this for the current climate you have to just select this folder and just click this apply button automatically this will pop up and all the parameters will be selected okay then what ne we need to do is that we have to select this map option within the data option and here look at that this is the current data that you have to select and within that which layer you need to process suppose we have to know about the precipitation condition then we have to select here precipitation as output and here again you can do for the month wise analysis as well as annual average and you have to provide the output annual precipitation i'm just changing the name current annual precipitation okay look at that what is the situation of current annual precipitation this is high in the western zone and it is low in the eastern part of the districts similarly we have to do for the future climate for that sake we have to select here the future data set that has downloaded this is the folder for the future data set you have to just click apply it will automatically select this future data set and look at that this has automatically changed you have to click okay and again in the data folder you have to select this map option here we have already selected the layer okay we are just putting this future annual pre precipitation as a name for the output yes look at that future annual precipitation data and this is the current annual precipitation database so as this way we could study the climatic variables if somebody wants to do certain kind of operations by using these two data sets then there is an option that is known as grid within that grid option number of options are there but we are exploring today this overlay operation 
within that overlay option operation we are having add multiply minimum minimum cover subtract like divide maximum like that these operations are there so we are what we are going to do is that we are subtracting this current annual precipitation layer from the future annual precipitation layer for understanding the growth of the precipitation so we are having this current future annual precipitation data that we are going to select for the first layer and again for the second layer that we are going to subtract from the current annual precipitation and just choose this subtract option and after that we have to assign the output that is stored in this collapse climate folder i think this one difference future current precipitation that i have given the name and uh, let us see look at that this is the difference of uh, future annual precipitation and uh, current annual precipitation and it shows that i am just changing the sequence it shows that precipitation will be increased in future time and the pattern and distribution of precipitation that we could study with the help of this operations so friends as this way this software has capability to handle the climatic database to analyze to predict to do study of uh, climate of any region hope that you like this video if you like this video then please share comment and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video